Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well today. So, on today's video, we're gonna be installing an under panel on the E36 M3. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and see what's inside. So, this is a lightweight under panel for the E36 M3. The purpose of this is to protect all of my belts, especially the uh, supercharger belt, as well as the pulleys, from getting all chipped up and scuffed up from rocks. All right guys, so one thing of note with my supercharger setup is that in order for them to install the supercharger, they had to take the under panel off. Uh, reason being is because I have an after cooler under there and they had to make some modifications for that to fit. So, they had to take the stock one out, and now that leaves us with nothing underneath. I'll go ahead and show you what it kind of looks like right now. Alright guys, so here we are uh, underneath the hood of the car. Uh, if you can see there, there is really nothing underneath that is uh, protecting the belt. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the car up on some ramps. That way you can get a better look at what it looks like underneath the car. Alright guys, so we are underneath the car right now. So this is kind of what it looks like underneath. As you can see, all of that is just really exposed underneath the car, including the uh, air filter. I figured I might as well change uh, one of the lamps inside of my fog lights. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to get to if I put the under panel on, so let's go ahead and do that and I'll go ahead and walk through the under panel. Alright guys, so a couple of things before we actually get this part mounted on there. Uh, I collected everything that we needed, everything's in this bag, supposedly. Got a couple of nuts, screws, U-bolts, uh, a couple of reinforcements, and we also have a, a shitty black and white construction guide, which I don't think is going to be very helpful, but we'll see what we can do with that. Also have our, our little 1 8 inch uh, drill and a screwdriver, so hopefully we get this thing on here today and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is try to do a test fit. I see what we need to do here, so let me grab my drill and get this going. things of note guys this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would be a lot of test fitting a lot of taking out removing drilling putting in the U nuts drilling again because they're not fitting so let's see what happens um, we're gonna keep knocking it out and um, keep running all right guys good news and bad news Good news is we finally got the under panel on. Bad news is I've got a bunch of spare fucking nuts and bolts and parts and but we got it on. Uh, don't know if I put it on right. Partly I'm gonna blame these instructions. Check it out guys, look how look at the pictures on here. Black and white. And there's a total of six pictures. All right guys, so we're finally finished putting the under panel on the car. Uh, it's a really frustrating process. I was really hoping it would take uh, you know, a lot less than two. I think I almost spent two and a half, three hours on this. Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy uh, the way it fits. As you can see now, hopefully you can see, uh, there's a lot more guard protection underneath my belts. A lot better than the beginning where we started off. Same thing with underneath the car. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I, I can't say I would recommend buying this kit um, just based off of the instructions. I'm pretty sure someone smarter than me can put it together. Uh, but for the most part, it, it was a real pain in the ass. Some of the, uh, some of the holes didn't line up correctly, especially with the drilling and all the um, fabrication that you have to do. But for the most part, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, other than the extra parts and the, uh, you know, the time it took to put it together, uh, it's it's a pretty good outcome. At least it fits. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the car. That's going to be uh, something that time will only tell. So let's see what happens here. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. Finally got the under panel installed. Hopefully it stays on. I know there was some extra parts in there, but we'll see what happens. Um, for not knowing what he was doing, I think I did pretty decent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's nice and short. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow my build. I'd greatly appreciate it. Take care, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe. Peace.